Hi guys, gravity powered car time again. Standing right back this end of the kitchen so you can see how big this one is. Uh, built this because I had a comment on one of my gravity powered cars from Lexi. She has to transport one kilogram mass and she was asking if there was something else she could use for the tower rather than the flower canes that I'd used on the car that she was looking at. Well, this is an alternative to flower canes. I've rather over-engineered it. It could carry much more weight than I've currently got on it. But I'll demonstrate it and then I'll tell you how I've made it. And I may even show you some video of me making it as well, but I'll speed it up a bit. Right, so we'll push it from this end of the kitchen to the other end so it winds itself up okay so we're up against the wall and we'll let it go I'll just kick it over to the left a little bit because it seems to be going right a bit as it's going okay let it go about to. Okay, we'll do a summary and tell you how I've made it. I'll just um, let that off. Right, the entire car, or whatever we want to call it, is made from these red pieces of wood. Um, they're actually floor mops or the handles for floor mops I saw them in my local bargain store a pound each and I bought six of them and I bought them because at the end of the handle it's got this plastic um, hook on it for hanging it up when you're not using it and I thought that would be handy to be the bearing for my axles other than that, um, it's just red plastic that's sealed on the outside of an ordinary um, wooden brush handle. Um, cut it up into a nice H-shaped chassis and then used complete handles to make the frame. The top end here is a nice thick piece of plywood that I drilled suitable holes in it to take the ends of the um, broom handles or mop handles. The pulley is one that I made out of a piece of scrap um, wood, cut a circle and then filed a, whatever you want to call that, a notch in it to take the string. The wire is just some odd stuff I found in my garage. I don't know where it originally came from. It's about 5mm diameter. It's much stronger than it needs to be for this purpose, but it was convenient, so I've used that. The String is sash line. It's quite um, strong stuff, this, actually. Um, it's the sort of stuff you would use in old-fashioned windows that had weights to counterbalance them for lifting the windows up and down. Uh, the weight that I've used is tins of beans, and they're... Hopefully that's in focus. 420 grams, I've used three of them, so three fours, 1,200 grams, or 1,260 to be exact, so it's uh, just over the one kilogram weight. 
Um, the wheels are CDs, but I've put. I've got one, two, three, four CDs. Four CDs there. Four CDs there. And actually, I think there's six CDs there, but that's just what I had left. I had trouble finding enough scrap CDs to actually make these wheels. The axle is some wooden dowel that I actually bought. I don't normally buy things specifically for um, their normal use, but it happens to be exactly the right diameter to go straight into the hole in a CD, so I don't have to do any gluing or anything. They're a really tight fit, but they fit nicely. And then the peg is just a bit of barbecue skewer. And that's it, the framework's just screwed together, so nothing special. In fact, I think this is probably the first car I've made for ages that I haven't used any hot glue on. But there we are, that is a gravity powered car. It just transported 1260 grams, or just over a kilogram weight from one end of my kitchen to the other. It didn't have a chance to freewheel afterwards because it hit the end of my kitchen. So I don't know how long it would have gone or how far it would have gone. Um, my kitchen's about five metres long, but you have to remember that with the back wheels against the wall, we're actually starting about half a metre up the kitchen already due to the length of my car. So from the front wheel start position to the front wheel end position is probably about four and a half metres that it travelled. So I hope that helps somebody. As I say, that's the cheapest um, bits of wood I could come across. So I thought I'd use them. Right guys, we're out in my garden. I've been to my bargain store and I've bought half a dozen of these floor mops. They've got wooden handles, uh, coated in plastic, and, well they were a pound each, and I'm going to make myself a gravity powered car with them.